Hi, my name is Brad Massey. I'm the Saunders Foundation Curator of Public History here at the Tampa Bay History Center. And the Tampa Bay History Center is located here in downtown Tampa, and we have exhibits for all members of the community, so we invite everyone to come down, and especially to see our latest temporary exhibit, which is Etched Feathers, The History of the Printed Bird. So Etch Feathers, A History of the Printed Bird is a show that actually does a lot of different things. Number one, it features the work of local artist John Costin. And Costin's work is really interesting because it's based on this very elaborate etching process. But along with featuring John's work, what we also do, since we're a history museum, is we tell a history of printing processes. We tell the story about early woodcut prints, um, engravings, etchings, and then lithographs. And so our goal is not just to feature John's art, but also to teach our guests about how these printing methods have changed over time. And then lastly, what we do is we also give a natural history of these birds that John has painted and etched. Um, so you're going to learn about roadrunners, you're going to learn about sandhill cranes, you're going to learn about all these different birds, almost all of them birds that you can find out in the wild here in Florida. So the exhibit does a lot of different things. We had worked with John a little bit before on certain exhibits we did, like an Autobahn exhibit. And um, he was very nice enough to loan us pieces from his collection, including some works that he made himself. And so we thought, well, maybe it's time for us to actually feature John's work and also feature works from his collection, which stretch back several centuries. And that's why we came up with the idea of let's talk about the history of printing methods. Let's talk about the natural history of these birds and then really describe to our guest the very intricate process that you use to make these etchings that ultimately John hand paints and which are really beautiful renditions of these birds. One thing that we like to do when we curate exhibits here at the Tampa Bay History Center is we like to have different components, right? Or as one of my colleagues said, different textures. And so John's elaborate etchings are really interesting. And so I thought, well, maybe one way to make them come alive is if we have footage of birds in the wild that our guests can actually see. So they'll see John's sandhill crane and they'll see a sandhill crane on a video. So I reached out to a local firm and I said, what's a fun way for us to engage our visitors so they can see these birds out in the wild? And um, we worked together and we came up with the idea of creating little birdhouses with videos in them. So you see the etching in the wall, you peek into the birdhouse, you see a road runner, you see some of these other birds. So it's another way for us to engage our viewers that, you know, might be interested in John's work, but they might also be interested in seeing these birds in the wild. So as a curatorial team, we thought it was an element that really kind of brought a fun component to the show, but also reached out and told our visitors a different message about these birds and they could interact with these birds in a different way. We want guests to come down to view Etched Feathers for a bunch of different reasons. Um, to really admire John's work, which is very detailed and very intricate, that's important to him. But to also learn about how John's work fits into this broader historical um, the process of making bird prints, whether it be woodcuts, whether it be engravings, whether it be lithographs. So if guests have an interest, not just in seeing these really interesting works of art, but learning about how they came together, how are these things actually made, they're really going to like this show. And then as a bonus, they're going to learn a little bit about birds, you know, that brown pelicans like to dive bomb for fish, and um, some of these other things that we um, tell our guests when they come and visit the show. I think it's really important for our residents and institutions like the Tampa Bay History to support local artists because what they do is they make our culture and they make our landscape more robust. I mean, there's no doubt about it. John's work both tells us a lot about Florida, it tells us a lot about birds that inhabit Florida, and frankly, it makes our gallery space and our community a more beautiful place when you have thoughtful artists that are creating these things that speak to the natural environment in Florida when it comes to John's shows but also other topics that are important to Floridians, whether it be about the migration of Cuban people, whether it be about the history of brewing in Tampa. You know, all of these things are really important and they help to really enrich our community. The History Center is a really important resource because we do a bunch of different things. Number one, we put on great shows like Etched Feathers. You know, we work with local artists like John to really get their work out in front of the public. 
But what we also do that a lot of people don't realize is we are a re repository for the community's history. Sure, you see a lot of things on display, but 90% of the things in our collection aren't on display. What we do is we preserve them, we collect them for posterity. And this is really important because these are items that tell the story of our community. You know, they tell the story of its evolution, the story of its struggles. And so we're not just a place that puts on exhibits, we're a place that collects things so future generations can look at them and think about our area's past and have a better understanding of who we are. I think there's really something important that happens between a guest and an object when they encounter it face to face that can't be replicated online. You see John's work from different angles. You get close to it, you back away from it, and then you see how it relates to the space and the other stories that we're telling here in the gallery. And then also we have some really cool interactives in this exhibit. You know, we have handles that we want you to open so you can learn about birds, you can learn about pieces from John's collection, and you simply can't do that online. So Edge Feathers debuted on March 4th, and it's going to run until October 15th. So there's still time to come on down, but don't wait till the last minute. Um, the History Center is open seven days a week from 10 to 5. And so we're available to the community. We're welcoming to the community, and we want you to all come down and see the show and see John's great work.